Yeah. You talked about listening to the fans. Um, what does that fight look like in your mind, and who lands the first punch? I think Black Adam lands the first punch. Now, I don't know if Black Adam lands the last punch, mm -hmm. uh, because Superman, I grew up a DC boy. Superman, I love Superman. I loved Superman, and I still do, uh, clearly. <laughs> yes, you have a filmmaker's vision though. You understand what makes good movies. Is, the, is this, is the scene already built in your mind? Is it raining? Is it sunshine? Like, do you, can you see it in your mind right now when you think about it? Jake, I could see things so clearly uh, on how that scene looks like, what that scene looks like, what the film looks like, what the next three films look like. Now, whether or not that comes to fruition, uh, that always helps when you have that kind of clarity. But here's what I do know. Listening to the fans when I was wrestling, mm -hmm. Uh, always led and guided me, just like now. So for the past 10 years, as I was pushing Black Adam uh, up this hill to get made, uh, for the past five, six, seven years, I was also listening to the fans mm -hmm. at the same time, where you have Black Adam, we will create Black Adam for him to be the most powerful and unstoppable force on this planet. The most powerful and unstoppable force in the entire universe has been on the sidelines for too long.